Today I'll be making a Roomba Loom bracelet. And the three colors I'll be using is red, as you can see, and blue and pink. And you'll be needing your loom, your hook, and your C clip, your S clip. Okay, so let's get started. First, you'll be making the border of the bracelet. You will start diagonal right here. And then you will go all the way down until you get to the second to last peg and you'll go diagonal. Once you get to right here, you'll be going diagonal to this peg, to the middle peg. And you'll be doing the same thing, so you'll go all the way down here and do the same thing on the other side. So when you get right here, you have to go diagonal again. This is your border of your bracelet, right here. Next, you will start with your next two colors. So I'm using pink and blue, so I'll be using the blue first. I mean the pink first. You go diagonal to here. And then you will go forward with your next color. Then you will go diagonal again. Then forward. Then diagonal. Then forward. Then diagonal. Forward. Diagonal, and I'll show you this one more time, then I'll skip it. Forward, then diagonal. One. Okay, now we're back, and now you're going to go the separate way, but this is how it should look like. Next, you're going to use the starting color you already started with, and you go diagonal. Your next color, diagonal, your next color is straight, your next color is diagonal, and then straight, and then diagonal, and then straight, and then diagonal again, and then straight. I'll show you this one more time and then I'll move on. Diagonal. Straight. Good luck. Okay. Now we're back and this should be your um your board your placing of the bands. Next, you were going to place your capping band, which could be both colors if you like. I'm doing both colors. And you place it. Actually, it should be one. Sorry. So I'm using red. Place it on the far middle. Pack. Then you're going to.
to turn your board over and you will start learning. Okay, so you're going to go around the cat band, take the blue, loom it to itself. That means you loom it from where it started. Next, you're going to go into that, into that peg, and you're going to move the blue and get the pink and loom it to itself. Next, you're going to take the blue, get it, push it down, then you're going to take the pink, go up with it, take the blue, go sideways, pink, Go upward, blue, go sideways, pink, go upward, blue, go sideways, pink, go upward, blue, go sideways, and, and I'll show you one more time. Upward and blue diagonal. Good luck, guys. Okay, we're back, and you're gonna. I finished one side, now we're gonna do the other side together all the way, and I'll show you the rest. So, you move your cat band, well, you're down at the bottom, and you move your cat band, get your get the colored band, and go to your left. You go in that peg and you get the pink and go to the right. And then you go forward with the blue. Then you're going to take your last pink. You're going to go to itself. And then you're going to go in that peg and get the blue. Oops. And loom it to itself. Sorry, I messed up a little bit. There we go, I fixed it. Next, you're going to go in the blue, get the pink, and I'll show you one more time. So you get the blue and go forward. You get that pink in there, go to itself, and good luck. Okay, now we're back, and I did all my two colors. Now we're going to start the border. So you go back to the bottom. Move the cat band out of your way. You should hold it down with your thumb just in case. And you get that top band, which is hooked on to the left. So you get that top band and you bring it to your left. Next, you're going to go all the way down in that peg that you just loomed to and get that bottom border band and you're going to loop it forward. You're going to do this all the way until you get up here and you're going to loop it over to the middle peg. I will show you this a couple more times and then you can do it by yourself. So you get the bottom band, loom it forward. Bottom band, loom it forward. I'll show you this one more time. Get the bottom band and loom it forward. Now good luck guys. Okay. Now you're going to now since you did this side, this is what it should look like. And then you're going to go move this cat band, then you're going to get that bottom band, bottom border band, and loop it over to your right peg. You're going to do the same as you did on the other side. Good luck. Okay, when you're done, this is when we take it off. So you're going to go in that last peg, the, mi the mid far last peg, stick your Pick, stick your hook all the way down through it so it'll come out and you have all the bands on the hook. Next you're going to get your get another color of your border band and you're going to hook it to the pick and get it out this way. So you have both ends of them on the pick. Put Next on, put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Okay, next you're going to hold your finger on the bands, and you're going to take it off. Oh my god, it's coming out. Oh my god, it's awesome. Name it, name it, name it. Okay, 
This bracelet is officially called the zigzag bracelet. Hopefully it turned out this way. Now I'll be teaching you how to make your extensions, but with your hands, not on the board. Okay, this is the much easier way. So you take the two bands off the loom and you get and you spread them apart. You get your border band color and put it like you're doing the single bracelet. And you make a hoop just like this. And you'll do this until you'll do it with your border band until your show them the hoop again. Until your extensions are long enough. I'll show you one more time and then I'll show you how to clip the bracelet. Next, you're going, well, this is how you do the hoop. You spread them apart with your two fingers, put them in the middle like so, and grab both ends, and there's your hoop. Oh, want me to pause it? And good luck.